Hey, what's up, YouTube? Um, it's been a while since I last posted a video. Um, been pretty busy. Like, family life, I guess, takes over. But uh, we've been finishing up rentals at the house. We um, sold our house in Nova Scotia, bought a house in Quebec. Um, anyway, so it's been pretty hectic the last couple weeks. Um, made a couple big purchases, so um, I'm going to a couple of pictures of what I bought in the video um, so like I, I picked up a, a North Forest uh, firewood processor so like the, the 29 ton full hydraulic uh, processor with the with the live log table so like the hydraulic lo loading table anyway so I'm gonna post put a couple of pics in there um, I'm not gonna be using it till summer I guess before we move so we're only moving in uh, at the end of June uh, and I'm on my way right now from um, well I guess near Halifax um, and I'm on my way to Cape Breton so I'm gonna go visit beautiful Cape Breton uh, so I'm picking up a uh, new trailer today so I sold my landscape uh, trailer yesterday it was like a Brimar well what I had anyways was a Brimar um, 2013 uh, landscape trailer like with uh, tandem 3500 pound axles um, so I picked up uh, a new uh, galvanized trailer so like I'm not a big fan of rust so um, uh, yeah I don't feel like wire wheeling and nothing so I uh, play like full galvanized uh, it's a deck over, so it's going to be a big upgrade from what I had with the tiny ramps and uh, wasn't it really the greatest to load up the, tra the tractor. Um, so I bought a 20 plus 3 deck over with a beaver, well, so like basically 20 foot deck, 3 foot beaver tail, um, so, it's, so it's a 7 ton. Um, anyway, so you'll, you'll get to see it soon. Um, it's going to be a nice upgrade, I kind of wish I would have got a uh, bigger tractor, a bigger trailer. I mean, uh, actually, like um, I was hoping to purchase a gooseneck trailer, um, like a beaver tail, like probably 35 plus five. Uh, but I can't get my hands on a dually, um, so like the beaver, the deck over I'm buying now is like basically a, like with my tractor, it's at the max my truck can pull because I got. Uh, 331 gears so it's not the best for pulling so yeah so originally there was a uh, checkered plate here to cover the hole um, but it wasn't weather tight and anyways I didn't really like it so uh, you can see we got a bunch of a bunch of straps in there and, uh, like whatever and then got like those uh, those axle tie downs, so pretty convenient. Um, probably gonna add some more uh, different types of straps in there, and then uh, just because it's a new trailer, and I'm probably gonna get uh, uh, removable uh, like D rings that go in the stake pockets here. So like you just use a like a clevis pin underneath here. So I just gotta find some galvanized ones, um, anyways. Um, so the way I mounted my box, so I used the uh, holes that are usually for the uh, spare tire mount, um, and then I drilled, uh, anyways, like in, like underneath here. Uh, so I just drilled like four bolts, um, and then I use like uh, rubber for um, mud flaps, I guess for. Uh, like a heavy duty truck uh, just so that like if if I have like something metal on there like it doesn't rust like, with like the aluminum and same thing with like the bolts there like I use the uh, neoprene uh, well like a washer with like a neoprene uh, ring on it so that way like it's same kind of deal it, it won't rust anyways so that's kind of how it turned out I think it Turned out pretty good, so still gonna do a couple more mods on it. Uh, like tomorrow, I'm gonna add some uh, grip tape 
I can't slip uh, tape on, on like the steps on both sides. Um, and then eventually I'll mount a winch. Uh, like right there, I guess. I'll mount a winch. Um, and then anyways, there's like the whole like um, ramp fiasco situation is going to get sorted out uh, this week. Because uh, they sent the wrong tube. So can't really use the ramps as of now and then I'm gonna mount the spare tire on like the I guess the, like the right hand side that's gonna be mounted there so like a facing forward so um so I order the galvanized spare mount uh, spare tire carrier that's gonna mount here um anyways it's usually the spare mounts where the storage box is All right, so um, I just used the uh, tractor with the loader to lift up the ramps. Uh, it's like the slides that came with it, like the tubes, like they were the wrong ones. Anyways, um, so I just installed both of them. So now what I'm gonna do is I'll just hook up my truck to it. Um, and then I'll just load up the tractor on it to see uh, how it feels. I might go for a rip with it too. Uh, First time I'll throw that heavy with my truck, uh, be basically maxing it out, but uh, that's just until I get a new uh, F-250 with a Godzilla engine in it. So alright, so I'll just uh, do a quick time lapse of me loading up the tractor on it. Alright, so I'm gonna go tow with it for the first time. Uh, anyways, like a should be fine, but um, I got some timber ends on the way, so like I should be getting them early next week. So I think that's gonna help with the sag. Uh, I'll be able to put the tractor a bit more on the uh, nose of the trailer. Let's see how it does. All right, so this is gonna conclude uh, the video. Like unfortunately, yeah, like when I went. Uh, and towed with uh, the tractor on it for some reason like the I don't know if the camera didn't start or, but I, I remember seeing it start so anyways like I lost like the footage for that so uh but yeah no like the trailer tows like beautifully with like a load on it uh it uh even with like no load on it like it doesn't bounce at all it like it just tows straight and looks super good so um yeah so this is gonna be it for the vi this video. Like I just bought another trailer actually, <laughs> um, but like I'm not gonna get it till uh, I move back to Quebec at the end of June. Uh, it's gonna be a, diff a bit different, but same brand, so it's gonna be another K Trail galvanized, but a bit different. Anyways, you'll see uh, soon. But like lots of big projects coming up in the next few months. So uh, hope you like the video. Um, and uh yeah it's just if you like the video just hit that like button uh share and uh take a second to subscribe to my channel and uh i'll see you in the next one